How y'all doing tonight, guys? This is Blue Nola coming back at you with another tarot reading, this time for Bow Wow. Yes, we are talking about him tonight because this is actually a request. I'm doing some requests tonight and I'm bringing it up because some of these folks, you know, I just feel like they deserve like a, a short reading, but, um, you know, they have so much going on. So nothing that is too complicated. I've already put some protection oil on the uh, cards and on me. Um, because, uh, some of uh, the folks that we talk about, they have like a heavy, heavy energy. All right. So spirit, this reading is for Bow Wow, also known as, oh, well, actually Shad Moss, also known as Bow Wow, stage name, American actor, uh, from Columbus, Ohio. Okay. Please give us some insight and some guidance into what is going on around Bow Wow, Shad Moss. Okay. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started on this reading, guys. So thank you for joining me. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification button. And also, guys, I have a contest out. So if you're, you're interested in actually uh, winning a free reading with me, I am going to be announcing three winners on January 2nd to win a free reading with me on YouTube. It's going to be 10 to 15 minutes long. So if you're interested in that, check out the uh, video that says uh, win a free reading, okay? Um, so Bow Wow, American actor, Shad Moss, Bow Wow, Shad Moss, Bow Wow, Shad Moss. Spirit, can we get, can we get eight cards for Bow Wow, Shad Moss, Bow Wow, eight cards for Bow Wow. All right. All right. So let's go ahead and just pick them on out. Hmm. Seems like he's going to have some, but we're going to lay them all out first. I can see where he goes into those moments of discontentment. All right. I'll pull it from the middle. Okay. All right. So, guys, again, this is for Bow Wow, uh, Shad Moss. And, um, again, this is a request. So, let's go ahead and look at the first card that we have going on here. And I'm doing eight cards just so I can get a really good sense of who he is and what's going on. His first card is actually the hangman, all right? Um, this card represents for him, this is just about him, you know, wanting some sense of release, right? Feeling like he's made sacrifices in his life. Uh, I mean, he has. I mean, he's been in the business since he was little, a little child. And so he's made a lot of sacrifices in order to have the career that he's had this entire time. He's got the um, nine of uh, cups. And what the nine of cups represent for him, this is just about the fact that his dreams were realized, right? And he is really connected with his emotions, right? Um, also, this means that, you know, he he loves the luxury. He loves luxury and stuff like that. Um, he can go into being emotionally stable to emotionally unstable. So, you know, at this point, he's 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 on a mo he's emotionally stable right now. All right. Um, however, with the four of, um, cups, what this signifies for Bow Wow, this is just about the fact that, uh, there's, there are times that he does get bored, right? He, he, again, he can get discontent. He can, um, he can, um, he can get to a point to where he can't find any hap, you know, any happiness. He gets disconnected. He's always in his head, got a million things going on in his head. So sometimes even when things are going great for him, he's unable to see all the things that are great around him because he can get in a, a mood. He's moody. Okay. His next card is actually the queen of pentacles. And what that represents for Bow Wow, um, this is just about the fact that, you know, he is, this man is self-centered. <laughs> energetically self-centered of uh, this is about a person who can be very jealous in relationship right have a lot of problems smothering people right so when he gets involved with a woman he can become a little bit overbearing in a relationship all right the next card is actually the judgment card for him and what this card represents for him this is just about the fact that Bow Wow, you know what, he, dude, you're going to have to start looking, taking a good looking, long look in the mirror at yourself and at your life. He's got the five of pentacles, all right? And what that represents for Bow Wow, this is just talking about the fact that he is struggling with some anxiety, guys. He does struggle, struggle uh, with, um, he does, he does struggle a, a, a lot, right? And also to his, his resources, I hate to say it, but his resources... His money is a little bit funny sometimes. His resources low. Okay. 
He has the star card. And what this is about the fact that, you know what, despite all of the challenges that he goes through, he does, uh, he does manage at times to kind of come, you know, have, have hope and, and try, he tries to rebuild. He tries to, you, you know, tries to rejuvenate himself. He try he really does. He does have faith or despite some of the challenges. Um, and then his last card is actually the six of, um, the six of swords. And what that just represents for Bow Wow, this is just about, again, he's again, getting back into his head, getting emotional, right? Uh, he's got a lot of unresolved issues. I don't know if he'll ever talk about it, but there are things that happened in his life to him when he was little and around him, um, that has uh, affected the way he thinks, the way he processes things, um, this seems like a little child who just had some challenges and, and, and where it was never, never able to overcome those challenges. Um, if he can kind of, uh, address those situations or whatever happened to him, he, he can come out, he can come out on top of it, but he's got to first address it. But there's something that, that happened to Bow Wow and around Bow Wow that created who he is today, created that person who, uh, who, who we see in terms of the up and down, the in and out, the, you know, the, the, the person who can, you know, can be high on high one minute and low the next minute. So there is some challenges in terms of his mental health. Okay. So on the big Sean video, I struggled to say mental health. I didn't like to, I don't know. I don't know. It was something I kind of, I started, I said it towards the end, but the next time I'll just be more straightforward. Cause that that reading was just riddled with mental health and I didn't want to say it. So with this reading, I'm going to be more honest and just say what I need to say. So there are some mental health issues with Bow Wow. Okay. So that's his first uh, general reading. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and talk about oh, relationships. So tell us, Spirit, what really happened between Bow Wow and Sierra Harris? Now she's Sierra Wilson. Tell us, Spirit, what happened between Shad Moss and Sierra, the entertainer? What happened in that relationship? If you can go back and tell us, please, we really appreciate your spirit. If you could take a look at that for me. And I'm just trying to get focused on that. Sierra and Bow Wow. Okay. They look like they had a pretty strong relationship when they were together. But, you know, again, they have this five of, five of swords and it's in the reverse. All right, so the first card, in their relationship when they were first together, this is the Ace of Swords, and this is for, again, Sierra and Bow Wow. This is just about, you know what, they they definitely had a, a they, their relationship was something that was, um it was like a new beginning for them, right? Um, But their relationship eventually started to become disruptive and chaotic, and he started to change in the relationship, Okay. The next card is actually the five of swords. All right. And what that represents for Bow Wow, this is just talking about the fact that he, he became just so, he became very difficult, right? Um, he became, um, he became, he had a lot of, he brought a lot of tension into the situation. He wasn't able to really manage, manage that relationship. I'll be honest. I just felt like just not even reading the cards. They were too young to, to, to be in a relationship that they were in. But with him came a lot of tension and conflict. They have the ten of uh, the ten of pentacles, and what that represents represents for them the fact that you know they did create like a legacy, a body of work together. They created history together. They create they made money together, and this is what this represents, right? This is just about the fact that they. Um, this is just about their artistic uh, creations. They they were very successful together. Okay. But it just looks like a situation where these two people, you know, they just, they, 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 they met, they had a great start. They started to achieve. Um, and it just seems like, and, and from there, it, the relationship just kind of, uh, started to just, you know, just have some issues and stuff like that. Again, indecision, um, just some difficulties. Um, let me stop rubbing my hand. Um, and just some conflict and stuff. So again, and with this next card, it just represents the same thing. So I just feel like, you know, they were just too young from the start. You know, they were just too young and not ready for what they had. And on top of being too young for the relationship, they had to manage the career part of it on top of that. So that can, that, that also posed a challenge as well. Okay. So it's really just about the fact that they were too young 
and you know and to even be in such a serious relationship um does he does he feel like sierra's the one that got away does he really feel like sierra's the one that got away does he still have feelings does bow wow shad moss have feelings for sierra wilson sierra wilson sierra harris wilson does shad moss still have feelings for sierra wilson let's take a look at this oh two cards came out no, I just feel like you know what he, he he looks at her success and he's happy for her, but he's got this. They got this. Uh, he's got this cherry card, all right. And 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 what this represents for for him is this is just about you know what he just he he just feels like you know at one point he he wanted to connect, but that just that didn't work. It just it failed, and and now he's just he's just happy for her achievements and what she's been able to to, to achieve in her life. So. If somebody asked him that question, I mean, are you happy for Sierra? Are you do you are you happy for her success? He would say yes because he is happy for her success. So though the relationship was never able to pick back up, and he feels that um, he feels like it was a loss for him. He does. He does feel like it was a loss for him. He's happy with the future in the life that she is now. Okay. So does he feel like she, yeah, he feels like that she's that that was like oh the one if you want to say it like that she's the one that got away. Okay, so yes, because that's about a loss of direction with her. All right, so let's talk a little bit about um, this situation that he had with, her name is Kiyo, Kiyomai, Kiyomi Leslie. Don't beat me up about the names. Listen, I'll come on my channel correcting me about people's names, guys, that, that we have better fish to fry. We're going to try to be as respectful as possible with some of the, with the names. Um, I don't know, um, you know, I don't know some of the people well. I try to pronounce them as best I can, but, uh, this is not a lesson in names. So please, please, please just, you know, I try to do the best I can. All right. So Spirit, tell us a little bit about what happened with Kiyomi Leslie. Kiyomi Leslie. What happened with that situation? We're going to pull this first one since it was coming out. This relationship was all about money for in this <laughs> this I don't see a lick. Let's keep let's keep pulling. All right. The Empress is coming up. The two of wands is coming up. Another pentacle card that came up. This relationship looked like it was just about money for this particular woman that he was dealing with, right? And a little bit of wanting to be involved with him creatively. Okay. They have the three sheet for Kiyomo, Kimo, Kiyomai Leslie. This is the three of pentacles, all right. Remember, the pentacles is about money and potential, okay? This is, uh, and this is, uh, uh, this is just to give you just some in insight. So with the three of pentacles, this is actually in reverse for them. Um, this is just about the fact that they just became disorganized and overwhelmed in this relationship. With the six, the six of pentacles, all right? This is about the fact that, um, that they just, it became, um, the power domination. He started to dominate the relationship. He started to really dominate the relationship, just like in his other relationships. Okay. Oh, just like with the other reading, he started to dominate. The next one is the seven of pentacles. All right. And this is just about, you know what, um, the fact that, um, this, this, he, there are too many issues, right? Uh, too many problems, uh, you know, just about the fact that too many, the, about a, a path to take. They have the Empress card. And what the Empress card represents for them, this is just about, you know, again, he's selfish, being smothered, smothering her, right? Uh, and she was dependent upon him. The Two of Wands, um, and what that represents for them, this is just talking about the fact that, you know, these people, uh, they were, they, they were, you know what? They were faced with a lot of opportunities for the future, but they weren't able to manage the situation. And then, so last but not least, the Nine of Pentacles. And this is just about, you know, him living beyond his means. And um, this um, this is just about, you know, just just living behind it, above his means. Listen, this relationship for me and my, in, it just intuitively, this feels like this lady was with him for more of money and clout. This, if I, four pentacles card, she was with him for the money and potential and the clout that he gave her. All right. So there was really never any love in this situation. Um, he was overbearing with her. He was a little bit controlling with her. Um, but you know, he knows that he knew exactly who she was and what she was. And he knew the type of person he was dealing with. He wasn't blind to that. He wasn't blind. He's very smart. 
So this relationship was never a relationship of true love or true commitment or anything like that. Um, can you give us a, a, just a confirmation? Just give us an outcome card for Bow Wow. Ooh, let's just pull that one. Okay, they got the Knight of Swords, all right? And with that Knight of Swords, that's just basically about the fact that, again, this it, it just became just unpredictable, right? A disregard for consequences, no direction. This relationship just had no direction. Just, just, it just was all over the place. Listen, that wasn't the first time that they had some type of incident. This is the first time it just grew big enough where people got a chance to pay attention and it got on the news and they got arrested. So this wasn't their first time getting into some type of issue or incident. Now, I'm glad they're both away from each other and I don't think they need to be together at all because they're both together. They're both, it's like oil and water. Okay, or putting a, a match on some oil. Um, so let's just get uh let's get some outcome card. Let's talk about his career. Spirit, can you give us some cards to just kind of talk a little bit about what's gonna happen in the future? 2020 with Bow Wow's career, with Shad Moss's career. Can you give us um let's get let's take I'm I'm feeling four cards, guys. Instead of saying four cards, let's get four cards for Bow Wow in his career. Ooh, okay. Oh, I want to pull this card. And let's pull one more card. Ooh, let's just do five. Okay. And so pull it. We pull it. He wants to, he wants to definitely, he wants to get on track with his career in order to create a legacy for his daughter to maintain his legacy. Okay. To maintain what he's created, started. All right. He's got the death card. All right. And this is going to be a new cycle for him, a new beginning for him. He's going to become, go through a new change, right? He's got the page of, um, he got the page, he's got the page of cups. And with this page of cups represent for him, again, he's still emotionally immature. So he's going to go through this change. He's going to continue to be emotionally immature in the situation, but he's going to continue to create. He's going to continue to create because he's got the nine of wands. And what that represents for him, this is just about him, you know, having some inner strain and determination. He's going to continue. He's going to have, he's going to struggle, but he's going to have victory. He's going to continue. He's going to continue. All right. He's going to be resilient. In, 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 in his ventures. All right. He's going to have some success guys. He's going to end up having a, uh, some, some, some level of success with this. And this car, remember this car could represent movies. This could re represent, uh, he could write a book. Um, you know, people do write books about their life. You know, again, remember with the, the first, uh, general reading, he's had some things that's happened in his life that he could tell people about. He has. So this will represent somebody who's going to come out. I think if, if he could, um, Pop probably not a not ready for a movie too young for a movie too young for a biography or the public's not ready for that. But I think if he writes some type of book, I think that book could be successful. People would and he'd be truthful in that man. When I'm telling you, he would sell. Oh my God, this thing would be so successful because this is showing success. So if anybody knows him, you know, I know people are watching these videos. I could tell, um, and I could feel it. Tell him write a book, write a book. All right, the next one is the ten of um the ten of pentacles, and what this ten of pentacles represent is just about you know something concrete to uh you know this is about creative ventures. So bow wow, I think if you 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 put something together about what's happened in your life, you know from the time you were little to to right now, and if you did do something on if you decide to do something decided to do something on TV. It would need to be like a kind of like they did with uh, the Michelle store where they put it on, you know, like a little two part or a little one nighter. Uh, you could do a book, but that would be something also that would be lucrative because then people would get an understanding of kind of like, you know, your progress. It wasn't an easy road for him, guys. It was not. I'm energetically. This guy has he struggled and he has a lot of stuff that he could talk about and he can say. All right, so this is actually his in terms of his career. So I can see that he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna start to make some changes. But again, Bow Wow, he's got to get his mental state of mind, that maturity level, the way he thinks, how he also um, he 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 has no filter. He has learned to have some filter on the way his mouth with his mouth. All right, because that also gets him into trouble, um, and that's because he's emotionally immature. All right, so let's ask a few questions. Um, where are my cards? Oh, okay. Let's ask about um, how does how does Bow Wow feel about Erica Mina? <laughs> I'm gonna be petty, Paul. 
how does Bow Wow Shad Moss feel about Erica Mina right now, 2019? How does Eric? Uh, how does uh, Shad Moss feel uh, feel about Erica Mina because they were engaged, living in his mama's basement or whatever? All right, this is an interesting card for now. This is actually <laughs> Three of Cups, and this is just about you know why he feels like you know what this this he. He he's he's happy for her. This represents the fact that he that she's engaged that she was engaged. She got married. And now she's having a child, and he, he and he feels like you know she's uh she's still involved in gossip and foolishness. Okay, this is what it represents. So he still sees her as someone who's in gossip and foolishness, and you can see that quite clearly with the fact that she decided and attempted to. Leak some photos of Nicki Minaj. How dare you? But this is not about you, Erica. Oh, I could not even believe it. I was so disgusted with her. So she's still into foolishness, even though I was trying to give her the benefit of the doubt. Like, okay, you know, she's with Safari now. She seems like she's changed. She, you over here trying to leak pictures of somebody. You you got the man, girl. Why are you over here worrying about Nicki? But anyway, guys, let me get off this, uh, get back to Shad Moss. Um, so, I mean, he sees her as a gossip and somebody that, you know, he wants to stay completely away from, right? Because it shows that card is also, it represents isolation from that situation. All right. So tell us, how does he feel about his baby's mother, Joey Chavez? And again, guys, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing her name right. So please forgive me. I am not trying to be intentionally disrespectful. So how does Shad Moss feel about his baby, his baby's mom, Joey Chavez? Oh, I think, okay, so he has the king of pentacles with her. He's the king of pentacles when he's with her. So he does really continue to support her. He's a powerful figure in her life. He continues to be strong. He does provide, he's a provider towards her. He gives, he, he's generous in terms of, he makes sure that this, this home life with his child, that she is able to provide and will live well for his, for the sake of his daughter. This is also the Three of Swords. And again, this is about the um, baby's mom, Joey Chavez. Um, this is about the fact that um, with the Three of Swords, this is about the fact that, you know, there was some um, some heartbreak in around this relationship. So he did really love her. He really loved her. He really, you know, he really cared about her. And he was disappointed about the, the, the relationship when it did end. Um, so I think in terms of how he felt, I think he thought Sierra in terms of his vision, in terms of what he he looks at as a, as a state as someone who's a, 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 a obtainable or somebody who's looked at as a prize, he looked at Sierra as a prize. But in terms of love, it looks like he was really he really had love for his baby's mother. Okay. Um, I think that you know again, Bow Wow is emotionally immature. I think that if he decided, and I'm just saying intuitively and in 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 in, 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 in my feelings, if he decided to write a book. Or do like a little, you know, thing on like with a, like I said, like um, they did for, uh, what's that, the group, New Edition. I think that would be successful. I think really telling people what happened to him, how he grew up in the business, how he transitions, the struggles that he faced. That would be extremely popular. That would be extremely lucrative for him. I think doing a book would be lucrative, but I think also doing a, a memoir, do something. I know he's young. But he's been through so much in such a short period of time in his life. He's only, what, 30-something years old. I mean, man, that would be popular for him. Um, I see that if he does something like that, whether it's a, a book or um, or, or maybe a, a mini series or whatever, um, that's going to give him great success, guys. You saw that success card. Um, the situation with that young lady, he just the relationship just seemed like she was about money. It wasn't based on love. And he got in over his head with her. Um, let's ask this question. Will he eventually find love? I, I mean, I think he needs to work on himself before he does. Well, we'll ask Spirit, what's, will Bow Wow ever find true love? Will he ever find like a true mate? Someone who that he will, he will be with that he can, that will really truly care about him. Not just somebody wanting to be on TV. Let me tell you, this young lady, this particular girl that he was in that domestic violence, this lady, all she wanted was to Again, money to be around him for clout's sake, to be around him to be on TV, to be around him to be known. That's what she wanted from him. She this like she had no real put uh, real feelings for him in terms of real love. Um, will he find real love? Will Bow Wow Shad Moss? Will eventually will he find real 
true love? Will he meet somebody he can really be with? He's got fears of it, but eventually he will, guys. It looks like he's got this 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 ten of cups, this ten of cups right here. So he's got the Queen of Wands, all right. And that Queen of Wands is just about the fact that uh, you know, he can be um he 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 can be a little bit selfish at times, but if he can get that under control, uh he'll be fine. But he is selfish, so that's something again. Working on how he comes across, working on the way he, but, he, but again, it's something that has been embedded in him for a long time that he's kind of grown up doing. He's, he's, he, he's been doing it for so long. He's going to need someone to help him kind of redirect his mind. The nine of swords, this is about him just having fears. All right. This is about him, um, trying to figure out, uh, 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 you know, making things worse than it is in his head. So, you know, the potential to, to have a family, to be in a committed relationship is there. He's just got to overcome those fears. He really needs someone to really a good, strong counselor, a good, strong person to help him reflect and manifest the things that he wants in his life. Because guess what? With this last card, the potential to have a family is really there if he wants it. He's got the 10 of um the 10 of cups. And um and this is just about dreams coming true, inner happiness, right? This is just about a, a new cycle, a, a, an effort to achieve and, and family and home life and balance and love. So he can do it. He can do it if he can get his, the way he moves and the way he operates under control. I think if he can address the childhood issues that he's had, the things that kind of created him to be the way he is, I think he'll be fine. So to sum it up, Bow Wow has some potential to find love, Bow Wow has some, some potential to kind of create, regenerate and create success outside of the love and hip hop thing. What's that? Not, not love and hip hop, growing up hip hop. He has some potential to do something outside of that if he wants to. Uh, what about music? Will he produce any more music? Will he, he make any more music? Will Bow Wow actually make any more music? And this is going to be our last question. Will Bow Wow, Shad Moss make any more music spirit? No, not in terms, not right now. So he's got the same card in reverse when it comes to music. And this is the actual uh, four, of, uh, four of wands. So what this, re this represents is just about him having a lack of, uh, a lack of support with his music guys. So for, in terms of his music, that's on the back burner in terms of creating a body of work about his life and what he's gone through, that will be successful. Okay. All right, guys, so this is Blue Nola. This is a, 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 a reading on Shad Moss Bow Wow. We asked, we asked about pretty much everybody. What about Angela Simmons? Yeah, let's ask what's going on around him and Angela Simmons. I'm sorry. I want to ask that question, too. I'm about to end it, but guess what? If I don't ask this question, then somebody going, what about Angela Simmons? <laughs> so tell us spirit, a little bit about his relationship with Angela Simmons. Bow Wow, Shad Moss, and Angela Simmons, please. Can I get... Mm, give me oh that card fell out give me a second card give me a second card spirit please bow wow angela simmons you know what this he's got he, this this six of wands is popping back out for him and he's got the four of cups all right so the six of wands and the four of cups and again you know guys with that six of wands this is just about you know it's almost like just he this is almost like about just achievement and work for him this is just about public reward for him. And but at the same time, he's back into that mood of discontent. Um, he's back into that uh mood of um, you know, uh with the four of cups, he's he's back into that about being uh, disagreeable or you know, um you know, he he can go in and out of a mood. So I would say in their relationship, I mean, at this point is about business. It's about you know, getting in front of the public and creating a narrative. But for the most part, there's really nothing going on there. Okay. All right. So this is Angela Simmons and wow. wow. All right. So finally, this reading is done. Thank you so much for joining this again. It's Blue Nola. Have a great night. Bye. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe.